Hello there everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Flow episode 11. 11. Uh, we haven't changed versions, I haven't even checked if there's a new version of Flow in quite a long time. But that's fine. That's fine, I don't think we're missing out. I don't think this game has the same surge of flow because it's one person's dream as opposed to a billion. One billions. So what are we going to do today? We're going to perhaps go on a little adventure? Gonna go on a little reconnoiter and see what's going on uh, down here in the flowery world. Now there was a path. I've seen bits of it in various forms because it's all kind of linked together in a spider's web at some level. Um, but I want to, I want to illustrate. Uh, so we go up here in the underwater world. I want to illustrate a little thing that I found. I've done a lot of off camera to, to try and illustrate things. Now, <clears throat> one thing that is, is if this was Tuki, or perhaps another fan game, going up here might even get you some more secret, but not on the flow. Flow is like whatever, you can go out of bounds if you want, mate. It's up to you. Nothing up there. It's some stupid fault. I must apologise if you can hear any, um, apologivers, apparently. Hear any noisy children, fucking neighbours, kids are hyperactive, the sunshine has got to their brains. The only solution is putting them down. So yeah, we're here. There's lots you can get to here, but we want to go to this dark chasm, dark sarcasm, um, which I believe we've done on camera. Oh god, I've only done ten episodes. And I'm already fucking forgetting what we've seen and what we haven't seen. I'm pretty sure we have. Um, in fact, I'm almost certain we have. But there is a secret passage, a little secret passage. It's not here. I'm baking thick. But there we go. I think that says in the secret passage now. I can't see shit. Yeah, it takes you up there. So you just have to keep trying to go left. Right, it takes this elevator room. This elevator room is not actually unique. Uh, there's another room that looks very similar, but... Because we're here, we might as well kill that guy. Why not, right? Evil fuck. Take that, communist. And we're on the beach. A lift to the beach. How soothing. How peaceful. See, now if we could hear the kids, it would actually fit with the ambience of the beach, wouldn't it? What's up here? It's like a cliff. Is that a head? Is that a little box? Is that some seaweed? Well, it could be any of those things, really. It's open to interpretation. There is no really definitive answer about what any of that is. It's not it's not a cat's toy, that's for sure. I just love being able to turn to the cat. If I could do that in real life, if I had a genie, I could make a wish, I'd be, yeah, I want to be able to turn this to a cat at will. No, actually, maybe that wouldn't be that good. Waste of a wish, perhaps. Come on, little head, you got to do something for us, right? you got something in there. Surely... Surely you got something for us. Come on, you look kind of like that. God, it brings back so many memories of doing Tuki without the quick effect switching. Going through all this. But, uh, maybe not good memories. I know a lot of people get frustrated with me ambling around in the menu not understanding things. I'm gonna fix it, guys. I'm gonna learn all of the Japanese. We don't have this problem anymore. Yeah, who am I kidding? Who am I fucking kidding? No, we're gonna do it. I promise. Fire and pistols, yes. That's the sign of a good video when... <clears throat> what's her name? Sabatsuki. When Sabatsuki starts firing pistols in the air, you know you're in for a good party. That's it. It's like, that's the, the drinks have arrived, the strippers have arrived, the drugs have arrived, the police have arrived, and then fucking Sabatsuki arrives, and that's it. Party starts up again. Fresh. Look at this evil little box. Let's go in here. Oh. See, this one has a, a kind of a white deserty vibe to it. <clears throat> According to the, the, the people, the English commentators that have read in this, they say it's kind of inspired by the white desert, but... I actually think it, it, it is and it isn't. 
it, it's more detailed than the white desert. The white de desert stuff's all very stupid. Like, it doesn't like me firing my pistol. Blam. Yeah, run away. Go on, run at the door. I don't know, something just doesn't quite match with that art style. At least not to me. Then again, it has been a while since I've played uh, Nikki and saw the White Desert. So maybe I'm just talking shit. Oh, being able to turn to that cat. She doesn't want to talk to us. She doesn't really want to do anything now. She's just happy mulling about in her beautiful house. Excellent decor, I have to say, especially like the giant hand. But it seems like the only thing she does is run away when we try and shoot at the ceiling. Probably be good, some plaster might fall on her and she might get hurt. Or she might mess up her lovely black hair. No, Sabatsuki doesn't have that problem. Plaster fell on Sabatsuki's head. No one would even notice. Yeah, this effect doesn't do anything. It's just gross. It's just gross. No, don't. Don't touch him. So what do we do? Do we need to kill this character? Should we? Maybe not today. I'm not convinced that we've done everything we need to. We've, we've explored every option here. We've still got effects to get, so maybe... Maybe we'll come and ruin your day some other time. There's like a flower just slightly above and to the right. Just perched there. Or it could be a lamp, I guess. Had enough. Had enough. Well. Back in here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, if you don't, if you notice that you can spin around on your chair when you're saving the game. Because we don't have the, the meta mode equivalent for this game, we have to be a little bit ghetto about how we restart. That's a ghetto. It's just, just more convenient for me, really. Now, this thing up here. We'll talk about this a bit later. That is me indicating that it is not how we want it to be. It is in the alternate state. At least one of its alternate states. The three things being there. But it's not the alternate state we're looking for. See, look at all these... The hands. That's metamod, isn't it? That's metamod. That's what we want. Give us one of them. Give us one of your hands. Give us a high five. So you'll recall, we came in here and we played with these... Uh, tentacle rules for a while and something happened like that you can actually stand there for a very long time trying to trigger that uh, which I might I might demonstrate for shits and giggles everything's wiggling it's like my favourite en my favourite enemy tentacles adventures so this is kind of like that other area with the, the overgrown moss and stuff Set things have mouths and everything seems kind of gloomy and organic. Perhaps more killable organic, at least. For some reason, they scream whatever those things are. I thought they were plants, but apparently not. Plants don't scream. People do. Plants don't kill people. Uh, man eating plants do. So, what does that mean? Blue ones. Well, that's a ship. What is that? Smoke coming out of that one. That mouth. We got an effect. Quickly memorize what the last couple of characters look like, because that's the only way I'm going to be able to find it again. We got a gas mask, guys. That's it. We could go to any kind of noxious environment. We won't get poisoned. We will we'll just be able to go through it completely unaffected. Or perhaps we can arm a flamethrower and just burn everything down. Who knows? I doubt that's it. I doubt that's what it means. But that's good. Does it have any practical use? Who knows? We're certainly not going to see today if it has any practical use, other than looking kind of badass. But she does look kind of... I how it's like looks kind of badass all the time. She's, she's, a, she's a badass looking character. She'd probably be too badass for me. She'd be like, this fucking, this fucking cunt here. I would be seen dead traveling around with this guy. Forever alone. 
So, what about this fellow? What are you doing here? You got very sinister hair going on. Take this. Have a pipe, you cunt. Quick run? No, headphones are not good for running. I see a lot of runners with headphones on. I see a lot of cyclists with headphones on. That's crazy. How can you even hear what's going on in the world? Right, now there was an enemy out there. I say an enemy, there was a character out there. So I don't particularly want to get caught by it. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and sneak out. And see what that... See what that brings us. Whoa, whoa. Nearly. Haha, ha oh. We're locked in this little room. I like this area. What's this box? What's this funny looking box here? <coughs> Excuse me. What does it do? No, not that. Fucking. No. It made everything shift away. Let's touch the box. And suddenly everything is a box. We have killed all life in this digital world and turned them into boxes. It seems kind of dark. I, 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 I don't know, perhaps we're reading too much into it, but... If there was anything that could perhaps be portrayed as... Uh, like like a, an analogy or an analog of some event, some traumatic event, that would be one. And... Um, we're going to have a quick jump cut here, and we're back. So what's going on here? Well, I had to keep trying to get this, uh, I was kept trying to get this uh, thing here to appear I wanted it. This is how you want it. Big mouth. Oh dear. This looks like a, a barrel of last. Now I remember triggering this ages and ages ago when I first played this game. These bitches are going to chase you. You gotta run. Just go run, just run. There's even one there. Look at that, look at that shit. Don't go visible, they move very fast. You can't get through here unless you're invisible. It's impossible. Oh dear. It's very uh, spooky around here. Seems kind of disconnected when you go into the school? That's what this is, isn't it? This was the school. We've been here before. <clears throat> the fucking school. All the fun stuff happens in the school. Let's go through this door. Uh-oh. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, we're being chased. Quick. Run. Let's have a ticky run. Quick. He's got a pipe. Oh, Jesus. He's got a weapon. Get out of there! We can't open up the menu, we can't open up effects, we can't do anything like that. Just run. Just, just, oh shit. J oh no, go. They've all got pipes, man. Just go. Just go. That one's getting quicker. Quick. Quick! Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is a bit intense. Oh god, he's right there. Quick, just go. Ignore the nightmares. Oh no! <laughs> Flanking maneuver. Quick, run! This just, this just go everywhere and they're chasing us with pipe. I, hey, I've got a pipe now. Hey, what are you, um... What are you doing there? You look like that fellow we've seen before. Are we gonna... Are we gonna hit you with a pipe? Uh... Apparently that was not a wise move. Hitting that guy in the face with the pipe. Would not recommend. He is obviously more adept at the pipe than us. We got owned. Wow. I guess that's a fitting note to end the video. Jings. One thing I do like about Flo is the... Well, I suppose Tiki has it sometimes as well. The, the, the kind of gory element to it. It's cool. Obviously the, the artist is not afraid to have those little dart bits in there. Where the character just gets smacked in the face. There's a bit in Tiki like that, but... It's not the same. Anyway, episode 11, flow. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. See you next time.